Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RAS Aquaculture. Do like and subscribe if you like our channel. So today I'm just going to talk about one of the biggest crabs that we actually have in our system. For those who have been checking out our channel regularly, you will see that we sometimes upload crabs that are about 900 to 1 kilo size. So that's pretty common. But today the crabs here we have is actually bigger than that. So the first problem you see is actually getting it out of the box. The box is probably too small for this crab. As you can see that the we actually told our team to make sure that we don't be too rough in which we will damage the crabs. So today's point of video is we'll do a rough assessment on the crab's health before we continue fattening. So as you can see, this crab is actually pretty big as my colleague here is very cautious while handling it. We do not want to damage this or accidentally drop the crab in which it probably drop off a claw and which result in financial losses. So as you can see, the crab is pretty big where it's held up. So today we're just going to perform a quick health check on the crabs to ensure that it's okay before we continue fattening the crab. So before handling, we would probably be a good idea to tie it up first before we weigh it and check the general fullness and is there any bacterial infection. So we start off with just tying the crabs here. So this is important especially due to the handling process. We do not want the crabs to be moving around while we perform some assessment on the crabs. So after that's done, We'll place it up on the weighing scale and check for weight. As you can see, the crab we have over here is 1.37, which is actually 300 grams bigger than our last recorded crab. If we were to measure the claw to claw end size, is actually about 30 cm, whereas the carapace width is close to 20 cm. So, indicative that the box is probably not big enough for this crab. So looking at the abdomen, we tend to see some brown spot which is not a good sign. It's probably some onset of bacterial infection. Generally what we are avoiding is crabs that look like these. So this is some of the crabs that we previously encountered which have huge bacterial infection on which some of their top, head, uh, top shell has also been eroded exposing their gills. So generally this crab is still okay. However, we would actually also check for its fullness and readiness to be sold. So one way is by pressing on to its abdomen, which is uh, you see over here. I've also uploaded the previous video of this. So another good way to check is to expose it under light. So this is a homemade jig in which we will pass through light at the bottom. As you can see, the, the claws have the secondary pattern on it on both claws. We are checking both sides of the claws, as you can see clearly over here. You can see that there are actually patterns under the shell. So what are exactly these patterns? So for those who are very familiar with crabs, you will know that when they are full, they tend to have a, a layer of second skin under their shell. As you see over here, this is another crab that has been previously fattened in by our clique. So that's all for today. Do like and subscribe and we hope you enjoy.